Hi there, I'm Valerie. You're watching the Motopress YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. With this video, we begin a new series about full site editing. Today, we'll take a closer look at the site editor, a relatively new feature for WordPress. And since its introduction, we can take control of the design of the entire website. This tutorial will help you get familiar with all the tools available in the editor. But first, I just want to remind you, if you like our content, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you make sure to never miss our videos. Now, if you're ready to take the big step toward a more modern website, let's get a jump on it. Full Site Editing FSE is a comprehensive feature introduced in WordPress 5.9. It incorporates various tools for easier design process for its users. One of these tools is the Site Editor. With the Site Editor, you can design everything on your site using blocks, from the header right down to the footer. And to access the Full Site Editing features, your site needs to meet two basic requirements. First, you must be using WordPress 5.9 or later. Earlier versions of WordPress don't include the full site editing features. And in this video, I'm going to be using WordPress version 6.4.1. And if you're using different versions, uh, there may be differences both in the interface and uh, the functionality. Second, you must use a blog theme that supports full site editing. To find themes that support full site editing, you can use the full site editing feature filter in the wordpress.org theme directory. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to use Prime, a free WordPress starter theme by Motopress, which offers complete full site editing support and you can download it from our official website. You can launch the site editor by logging into WordPress admin. From there, locate appearance on the left side and click on editor. Otherwise, you can do it from the edit site link in the top bar on the front of the website. When you arrive in the site editor, you will see a preview of your website. Uh, on the left, there is the navigation sidebar, and your home page will be displayed to the right of these options. The site editor loads the home page of your site based on what you have set in the reading settings. As we see here on the left sidebar, since version 6.3, WordPress brings your navigation, content, templates, and patterns together in the site editor. No need to switch across different site areas. You can concentrate on what matters most. Once you enter, you will see five menu items. The navigation menu shows the blocks in your most recent menu. In Pry, I have chosen a header with a mega menu, so you can make basic changes from here. And if your theme has a traditional simple navigation menu, uh, you'll see something like this. You can update the menu and move or remove items by selecting the options menu, uh, I mean three dots. So you can also select and drag uh, blocks to move them. And for me uh, to see my mega menu in all its glory, I'd prefer to find the header and make changes from the headers editing screen. If we go to pages, uh, we can edit the content of individual pages uh, of your site. Now I suggest going to templates. Inside, you'll find all the templates associated with your theme. Click on 
one to pull it up in the editing screen. Here you can view all the blocks, edit them, move, add new ones, or delete unnecessary ones. The link Manage All Templates at the bottom of the sidebar uh, takes you to the Detailed Templates screen. It shows a table with information about the templates. In the Edit By uh, column, uh, you can learn if the template uh, was added by the theme or a user. Uh, you can also see if the template has been customized. You can use the options menu behind uh, the three dots to clear all your customizations, uh, like resetting templates to the default. Users can also create templates by clicking on the plus icon in the sidebar. It's possible to create custom page templates too. Now we go back to the main site editor screen to visit patterns. Block patterns are pre-designed groupings of blocks that help you get a head start on your site look and layout. Here you can view patterns associated with your theme. If any are locked, use the three dot menu to duplicate it. After this, you can edit this pattern. And if you save changes, this pattern will be added to my patterns. Now let's talk about the template parts. Template parts are patterns of blocks in a theme that can be used when building your site. For example, headers and footers and variations of them are considered template parts. Again, depending on your theme, you'll see headers and footers and maybe sidebars. Uh, to open it up in the edited screen, you just need to click on it. Just like before, you can move and edit all the blocks on the screen and click into their settings and styles uh, to further tailor them to your likes and needs. Before moving to the next part of our video, I want to show you one more useful feature uh, that you might like, and this is the command palette. The command palette is part of the site editor too. Uh, you can click on an icon of a magnifying glass to access the command palette. And once the command line opens, you can start typing to search for the action or content you want. Now I want to walk you through the site editor workspace. As you might notice before, if you click anywhere on the right side in the editor, it will close the left sidebar. The site editor has many features you may recognize from the block editor. There are several sidebars and you can work with the sidebars closed or opened. We have the toolbar with the inserter where you can select blocks, patterns and media. The tools button offers different interactions for block selection and editing. We have the undo and redo buttons and the list view to help you navigate between layers of content and nested blocks. At the top center of the editor, you will find the command center. This shows the name of the template you're editing and you can search through the site's templates too. On the right hand side, we can see a preview of your site's appearance with the changes applied, and there is the Save button. The Block Settings sidebar contains more customization options for the block you're working on.
And there is a second sidebar that is only available in the site editor, styles. In this sidebar, you can change the default styles for the website and its blocks. To be more precise, we can make site-wide changes to typography, colors, and layout. So we won't cover the global styles in detail because it's a huge topic and requires uh, a new tutorial. So don't miss this tutorial on our channel. To access more options, click the three dots to the right of the settings icon in the upper right corner. Here you can customize your editing experience using various options. For example, it's also possible to export templates and use them as themes or share them. To go back to your dashboard, click the WordPress icon to open the site editor left navigation. And then again the same icon to get back to your WordPress dashboard. So, I think that's it for today. Please let us know if you still have any questions about the WordPress site editor in the comment section below. And if you liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.